Okay, I am back. We went to, like I said, we went to Omaha, and this is like part three of my, I don't know, four or five day adventure, but we went to this part of town called Old Market. It's like the oldest district or whatever in Omaha, and um, it's really cool. Um, we went to this Hollywood candy and so I kept this little Halloween grab bag that I got. I kept this to put in my junk journal to kind of document. So I did go into a Dollar Tree and I was really disappointed. Um, this one that I go to there is usually pretty good. And I'm not saying they weren't well, well stocked. They were. They just didn't have anything new to me, I guess. And what they did have that was new to me, I went ahead and picked up. So I got me a ghosty coffee cup have to have my coffee every morning and I love these and for a buck 25 why not and if it gets wore out or whatever throw it out um so I got my fall one whoops sorry about that and then I did pick up this shred because I like the colors oddly enough my Dollar Tree's shred is hard to come by I think every they either just don't get it or everybody buys it I got it a scalp massager. I just thought that was cool. And it's cute. It's really cute, actually. I don't want to make this video longer than necessary, but it is very pretty. So, I thought that would be fun. One of the symptoms I sometimes get is intense itching. And uh, it is neurological I believe is what she said but I don't know why so I thought well that would be nice oh I picked up some transparent tape for something that I'm doing that specifically calls for transparent tape I picked up we don't tend to get a lot of good material so I picked this up I don't know if I'll use it on like a junk journal page or a junk journal cover I don't have any plans of making a Halloween specific junk journal um, and I'm not sure how I would, I guess I could do it like a tip in. Um, and then I got this one, which is fall. I had, they had a candy corn one too, and I really wanted to get it, but I was like, really, do you need it? I'm trying to be good. Um, so this one's really cute. Now this could definitely go on like a fall cover. It just depends on what you consider, what months you consider to be fall. Oh, I forgot to give this to my granddaughter today. I'll have to... That came in the little candy thing. And I might have these, but I'm not sure. Sometimes I can't remember if I bought the stuff or if I just seen it on somebody else's haul. But I picked these up to put in swaps. They're little lip glosses, and they're super cute. And then... Ha, ha, ha. Kim, if you're watching. Kim from Kimbo Creations showed me these and they didn't I don't know they didn't have a whole bunch so I think there were other sayings that I've that Kim showed but I'm not sure but I did get the love in the rhinestone and I got the love in the pearl I think that's super cute and then I don't know why I didn't get two of those um and then I got two of the sassy they had fierce and they had something else and that was it um and I haven't honestly in the last probably month I haven't been to a Dollar Tree here in town I don't think I I can't say that it's been a month but I think it's been a month I haven't been to a Dollar Tree here in my town so I have no idea if they have gotten this stuff in yet but the last time I went it was terrible so the store I chose to go to and then I got these I just thought they were so cool and if they would have had two I would have grabbed two but they only had one and then I got this <clears throat> and I got two of these I've never seen this um I thought it was cool of course I like my bling so I had to get that Excuse me. I have a mess going on here. Then I get to go and put all this stuff away. And that's my downfall. I don't like putting stuff away. Okay. So I'm going to show you my thrift store stuff. I 
and you're going to be like thinking I'm weird, but when I go to the thrift stores, it's all about what can I get for junk journaling. So I picked up this pack of cards. I just thought they were pretty. And let me tell you, I'm going to tell you something. When we were in Des Moines, we did go to the Brass Armadillo in Omaha, which is where I got most of this. But they were charging a lot. And these are all the same, but I thought they were cute. And I can junk journal with them. Or I can, I don't know what all this stuff is. Oh, I guess you get a recipe of the month in here. This must just be something added. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, pineapple cherry crisp. Interesting. Anyway. Wow, this is going to be cool for something that I have coming up that I need to haul getting done. Haul getting done. And so I'm doing a haul video. So anyway. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. And okay, I just noticed this. Each one of these cards, this is very different. I've never seen this before, actually has a recipe on the back Swedish potato salad, marzipan cookies. How neat. I have never seen anything like that. Anita's Christmas cookies, Norwegian cake. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Norwegian butter cookies. Let me look at this a little bit closer. This is Red Farm Studio, Providence, Rhode Island. Printed in the USA, but it doesn't have like a print date. Oh, that's, that is a better find than what I realized. I did not know all of that was in there. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. And then, like, when I bought um, this, I didn't buy it for any other reason than to add it into my junk journaling arsenal. And I paid $3.50 for it. Isn't that crazy? And it was originally $0.95. Cents. I mean, I tried to get one that I thought was kind of cute. You know, because even though I'm going to use it probably as a background or whatever, um, it still kind of needs to make a little bit of sense. Sorry. <laughs> you guys would laugh at me. I just throw stuff on the floor. But these are what, they're kind of like pattern material if you've not ever seen them. But it's for like needlework so yeah I think that will be fun to use in junk journaling so this kind of tells you and you I think you could still buy these so it's not like they're hot iron transfers and then you do your needlework on it people used to do tea towels with them and then I picked up this one, I would like to know where they get these bags at because they're very nice and thick and they're just like a Ziploc bag. So then I got this one and it, it's again, I don't, this one is, oh, you can, I think it's iron on two. I'm not sure because it says it'll give several stamping images, but again, I'm probably just going to be using it for background. Look at cool beans for, and then I did pick up this and I'm on the, I don't like it when they write the price on it. I'm on the fence. I might keep this part of it, but definitely, I mean, I might use it, but I definitely wanted it for this. And then I got a bunch of golden books, you guys. But I'm not going to show those right now. Um, a lot of their music paper was... I love it because it's... Um, you know, aged. And they were like a buck. So, now this one says 
390 on it, but I'm, I think it's, oh no, it doesn't say 390 on it. And I have no reason for what I picked other than I thought that would be a cool picture. Um, but yeah, I love, cause I don't, I'm too lazy. I don't want to tea dye. I actually asked my husband if he would do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that <clears throat> so when we were in Omaha we went to this really old stinky smelly but it was supposed to be a really good thrift store <clears throat> antique store my husband didn't really like it but I loved it because the guy charged me for all of these not one all of these and I love vintage cards he charged me a buck and I was like, dude, if I'd have known you were only going to charge me a buck, I would have got a lot more. And see, I don't, I won't necessarily want to use the number five, but if I do, so what? It doesn't matter to me. Look, at, it's, it's kind of interactive. I don't care that it says six on it. Ugh, I just love these. My baby book has a bunch of old cards that you know vintage cards in it I was born in 1967 so they truly are vintage um look at this oh my gosh oh and it even has uh oh you guys i'm dying um so i got all of those for a dollar and then because i watched Kim, hey Kim, if you're watching at Kimbo Creations, she did like an estate sale haul or whatever, and she got the lady had started like a junk journal and she did it out of a dictionary. And so I had in my head that I wanted a dictionary so I could do something like that. Now this one's beat up, I'll have to kind of redo the cover, but maybe just the this part of it. I don't know, I'm not really sure but it is cool and it's aged and it's old and I love it he gave it to me for a buck a buck and when I seen him at other stores other um stores other thrift stores jeez if I could talk right they were wanting like 13, 14, 15 bucks for them. I was on the hunt for the Reader's Digest ones because Crafty Mim said the Reader's Digest ones are the best ones to get. But they were super expensive. And I only came across one and I was like, well, I'm not sure which direction I want to go in. So I'm going to pause on that. So then when we were at the Brass Armadillo, they were charging three, four, and five bucks for these. Now I didn't buy any that were that expensive. I paid $2 for this one. Um, but I love them. I just love them this one was a dollar and I don't really care about this but mother and daddy oh, my heart I'm going to use them it might take me a bit but I will use them and look at this I just I just pull out they usually have them in bins and I just pull them out I pull the whole bin out and set it on my cart and I start looking. I don't, I'm there for a reason. I drove a ways to get there. And that's what I do. Look at this one. Oh, and it's going to be, I'm not going to lie. Look at this one. You guys, it's like coffee stained. Somebody sat their coffee cup on it. Oh my lands. How could you do that? Um, and you can see it on the outside too. Oh my gosh. I won't use like that part of it. But I'm not sure yet how to go about cutting that. I don't know if I can. And then like if I don't want to use this you know, oh my gosh 1948 oh, I'm dying I'm dying 
Oh, and then I got this, and it was $3. It's a really old McCall's transfer pattern. And there's some pieces missing, but oh my lord. Lordy, lordy. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm like, I am, yeah. I gotta, like, figure out how I'm gonna do it, but. Oh, and then I got, this lady had, like, Rubbermaid containers, and you just opened up the drawers and looked through stuff. And I got these, um, I only got these two and they were like a buck, but they're like travelers. What do they call them? It's worldwide travel department. And these were 1964, but this one has all this stuff about Russia. I don't know like if this I'll be able to cut up but because I to me it's pretty you know I don't know if it's worth any money I don't really care and then they had this one on Switzerland and they both came together I didn't know that they came together but these people like it's oh my gosh I just love it I don't know, maybe I'll do an album of all the museums we've gone to or something, because we've gone to a lot. And then I got this. My Christmas Wish. I love it. And it is the Best Wishes series, and I don't think it says anything like else, but it's kind of like a little book. It has somebody's name in it, and it tells a little Christmas story, basically or has little Christmas poems like Merry Christmas morning to each and every one the rose has raised has kissed the dawning and the gold is in the sun and may the Christmas splendor a joyous greeting bear this one says many Merry Christmases many Happy New Years unbroken friendships great accumulation of cheerful recollections and affections on earth and heaven for us all my Christmas wish and it says Buffalo, New York, the Hales Lithographing Company. Oh my gosh. This stuff, I, in Des Moines, when we went into there, um, and it, I think, yeah, it's like a signature in here. Oh my lord. Oh. Um, the Des Moines one that we went into had this whole area in the middle that was full of old books. Some of them were in German. They were all, some of them were in Russian and they were old and they were aged, but they were expensive. So I didn't get any, but, uh, I love this. So I'm going to come back with another part just to show you the golden books I got um, and I will be right back. Bye!